Welcome back, time tellers. This is our final lesson on time telling before I do the reteach with you and we take our test. Wasn't that so quick? Just one week and you learned how to tell time. You are so incredibly smart. Thank you for working so hard. This is going to help you so much as you get back into school and as your daily routines go on. Now today we're going to talk about making schedules and making sure that we're at places on time. We have a schedule at school. We have to be certain places at certain times. So if we want to go to Miss Jojo's music class, we have to make sure that we are there at 1130. And if we're late, that just means we miss our time with sweet Miss Jojo and we don't want that. We have to make sure that we're at lunch at 11 o'clock. So having a schedule is so important so that we don't miss out on fun opportunities. Noelle has a music lesson at 3.30. At 4.30, he goes to the library. He gets ready at 5, so he can have dinner at 5.30. After dinner ends at 6, he plays a game. How can we organize this information into a schedule? Well, it's a lot like our school schedule. Noel has a very busy day, and his day starts at 3.30. So I can put his first activity here, the first one on the clock. At 3.30, where did he need to go? Noel has a music lesson at 3.30. So at 3.30, he needs to make sure he goes to his music lesson. What's the next thing on his schedule for the day? At 4.30, he goes to the li library. So let's write it down so he doesn't forget. At 4.30, we're growing going to the library. He gets ready at five o'clock. So five o'clock is his next activity. Get ready. Then he has dinner at 530. Man, this kid is busy. Dinner. And then finally, after dinner ends at six o'clock, He's allowed to play his games. So if your parents give you a schedule, they say, hey, you need to be up at 7 o'clock. You need to have breakfast at 7.30. You need to start your schoolwork at 8. This, that is your activity schedule. So we're going to look at a different, um, different schedules and the places that these people need to be. Let's see. Here is the nature trip schedule. And then we're going to answer questions and we're going to look at the schedule to see where we need to be. Which activity do children do just before the bird watch? So we're going to have to look at this schedule and find bird watch. Oh, there it is, bird watch. Now, do they, they want to know when we go on the bird watch? No. What do the children do just before the bird watch? Well, before the bird watch, they go for a walk at 10 o'clock. Walk at 10 o'clock. Walk at 10 o'clock. Which activity or activities do children do after, oh, that's an important word, after lunch. Let's find lunch on our schedule. Lunch. And they want to know what we do after. So we're going to look. Ooh, sorry, guys. That was tragic. We are going to look at what they do after lunch, which will be below lunch. Sorry about that. Got to get back on track. Under lunch, we have two more things after we eat. We have to make a birdhouse at 1230. And then we also get to, oh, we get to pick flowers. So if you're looking at a schedule and you want to know what happens after, go down. That means later in the day. Or if you need to know what happens before, you go up on your schedule and you see, what am I going to do first instead of what am I going to do last? Let's see. Now we'll do one, two last problems and I'll let you get started. You are so smart. You don't even need me. 
Which activity starts at the time shown? Well, let's read the clock and find out where we need to be at this time. I see the little hand. I always look at that hour first. It's not quite to the one yet, which means it's 12 something. And if I take my minute hand, I remember that all the way at the bottom, if I count by fives and I get to the six, I have 30, 12, 30. So what are we, where do we need to be at 1230? Match the times. 1230, we are making a birdhouse. Make bird house. So you can use your clock and your time telling skills to match your activity and see where you need to be at certain times. Circle the time that shows a half hour past three. If I'm at three o'clock and I go halfway, where do I land? At 3.30, that's correct. 30 minutes is halfway to 60, halfway through the hour. Now, you can go ahead and do your quick check on the last lesson of time telling.